So my friend, you cannot hide it. The Quran says Allah have hands. The Hadith says Allah have two hands and they are in the right side. And this is the one that's talking is your prophet. So what about we flag Muhammad to? Do you see it in red? It says here. Do you see the red? Irzu tabuk tagnamu banat al-asfar wa nisa al -rum. The prophet said, attack tabuk. Yeah, no, I see. You know, this yeah. is Tafsir al-Tabari. Some of them, they say, excuse me, don't, uh, I will not go with you in war and don't tempt me. It was yeah. a man, his name is Ajud ibn Qais. Qala yeah. Nabi, the Prophet, he said to him, Yeah. Can't you handle uh, the, the the blondie women? Which mean like, uh, he's trying to tempt him, like, don't you like the blondie women? And uh -huh. he said, he said to him, and I am actually in love with the blonde women, and I am afraid if I see them, and I will not be hold, be able to hold myself. Okay, but well that is the same what uh, Al Jalalain told. Yeah, that will be close to the English one. Hmm. Now they say they say here they will say to you, he is not talking about women here. He is saying, can you handle? Can't you handle the 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 children of the Roman? You know, not about mm -hmm. women. And the guy he said. Well, I am in love with the mm. uh, blondie women, and I, I I am afraid that if mm. I see them, I will not be having patience on them. You know. Mm. So what they will say here that the guy is making excuse that not to go to war because, because he they, is uh, yeah because he is the one. It's not Muhammad seducing him. This is what uh, it says here in Arabic. You know. And that is the yeah, but this is not. But this is a different the, story. Yeah. This is a different story. You see, if we yeah. go to the earlier the 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 early. Yeah, okay. The early yes, stories yes. you see at Tabari, and at Tabari is a 310 uh, uh, yeah, after yeah. Hijra, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So he's a lot earlier. Uh, you will find that, that he easy. mentioned that. Uh, so obviously, you know, they took off the story from here, and mm. you know, they tried to filter it to make it like the guy. He is the guy who is yeah, saying, yeah, "I am," you know. Yeah, I understand. But that's the three chapters in front of us, at least here. Yes, yes. It says here, and this is the Muslim translation. And when there comes to them a, a book from Allah confirming what is with them, although from of all they had prayed for victory against okay, those that's it. Confirming mm -hmm. what is, what with, is them. with them. How yeah, you can yeah. confirm what is with them, and then you say to us, our book is corrupt. Yeah. If Allah, so Allah, Allah if Allah confirm what is with us and it is wrong, it's mean Allah is a false too. Yeah, I understand. My friend, at the end of the day. When a Muslim he accused the Bible to be corrupt, he's talking about the Bible of Allah. Yeah. Of so course, what is my problem? I love. Yeah. So why he sent the book and the Muslim saying to us that he his book is corrupted? That's that's additional proof that Allah is weak God and he is fake God. Yes. You know? And this is additional proof that he cannot be the one who sent the gospel. So here, this is the only verse speaking about, and of the Jews, there are, there are those who displace words from their uh, right place. But if you go okay. and see the story, you will see that Muhammad, they asked him to, to be a judge about a woman who committed adultery. And a Jew, he put his yeah. hand over the line in the book to hide the word that says stone them, you know? Mm -hmm. And this is what this is about. He just put his hand there. It's not even changed the question, you know? It's just he put his hand to hide the sentence. Mm, okay, and this okay, is what okay, the interpretation okay. says, you know. So mm. it doesn't say anywhere that really they changed the book. Yeah. And even if mm. if so, here we go. We have uh, this will be a contradiction in the Quran because the Quran says in many places that Allah confirmed yeah. what is between their hands. See what's happening. If to see the voice of Allah, a prophet said, the face of Allah we'd like to see. So Allah has a body, but not like you and mine. Mm. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shura chapter 5 to verse number 11, there's nothing whatever like Allah. Hear that me. But he doesn't hear like you and me. For you and me require ear to hear. Allah, how he hears? Allah wala. Allah wala. He sees. We require eyes to see. Allah, how does he see? Allah wala. So We showed you the other scholar who says, yes, Allah have eyes. Remember? Allah have hands, Allah have eyes, and this is all what the Muslim scholar they say. And now we show you that Allah have two hands on the right side, and the Muslim try to deny it. But this is what it says, Sahih. Razi. Okay, do you accept the Razi? Are you sure? Okay, do you, accept, do you accept the Razi, my friend? 
a Razi was Mu'tazi life, but I accept this commentary. My friend, so do you accept a Razi? Say yes, because I want to be sure that you will yes. not say you will not say no later. Yes. Okay, here we go. Yes, this is this is a Razi in the front of you in the screen. That's you not Razi. It's okay. not in the website. Okay, Razi is not the website. It's Razi, a, Razi is a website. Is what I will do? I will jump in your lab. What's wrong with you? What do you mean Razi is not a website? It's a book. Where about? Where, can you point out the arrow? Show me where. It's, I'm showing you in the order. People, they can see it. Yeah, I see. I see that. Yes, okay. I see. I so see now that. we I agree that this is the book of Ar Razi. Hold on. So we go to book of yeah. Ar Razi. According, according to Taj al Arus, the Ra'ib means a pelvic arch. It says there Taj al Arus. It says there the word Taj al Arus in the front of you. Taj al Arus. Taj al Arus means pelvic arch. Uh, Abdul, does it say? Does it say there Taj al Arus? Uh, 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 no. It, I, I, I so, want me to translate. Def translate with what is highlighted. Translate what is highlighted. You know Arabic and you know that Ta'arib means pelvic arch. Why are okay, you running so away from what, that? What is Ta'arib? What? Ta'arib. Ta'arib. Ta'arib al-mar'a izamu sadriha. The Ta'arib is the bones yeah, of the, the ribs of the women. And it is specifically حَيْثُ تَكُونُ الْقِلَادَةِ Let no, me teach you no. Arabic, you, you funny uh, speaking Arabic person. No, no, no. Does it say that in the front of no, you? Man. My brother, listen to me. Now I am not your brother. You I am so, not your brother. And now you are, you are, you are a brother of the devil because you are lying. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you, and you are lying. Does it say there? This is the location of the necklace. Yes or no? It doesn't say. It says pelvic arch. So okay, hold on, hold on. If I copy right now, if I copy right now in the front of everybody, and I go to Google Translation, do you agree, do you accept challenge? To copy the rib. I will I copy the whole sentence. I will copy the whole sentence. You are a scumbag. You have no dignity. You have no dignity. And not only not only that. Let me show you a surprise. I'll, 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 shut up! Shut up! You, shut up! Your comedy! Shut up! Your comedy! Do you see why I hang up on you? I don't respect you. You are a scam like your prophet. It's in the front of our eyes, and yet he says it doesn't say that. And not only that. You're a stupid Arazi. He said that the sperm of the man is coming from his brain. See, now he don't want Arazi no more. Suddenly, Arazi is, is bad. Copy. Paste. And I'm sure some Christian, they will send me now, say, don't, why you call Muslims such a thing? Read with me. For sure, here translation is not correct. It says, so the 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 taraib is the bones of the women. Where are the breasts and where is the location of the necklace specifically? That the prophet he says, If the if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and the the boy will look like his father. And if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. And the baby will look like the mother. الولد, الرجل, المرأة, الولد, المرأة, الرجل, okay? As for the child, if the man discharge proceed the women discharge, the child attracts similarity to the man. But the fact here, it says he will be a boy. However, even if you say it, take it as it is, it's showing me that Muhammad is a false prophet because it doesn't matter who have this charge first. This is a stupid. Muhammad, he claimed that the discharge of the women is her sperm. And if the women have this charge first, the baby will resemble the women. Which the messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. And whichever of them come first, the child will resemble the parents. How he re resemble? By having a baby. He said, I came to ask you about the child, which means how the child is formed. He says, Muhammad said, Ma rajul abyad wa ma ul mar'a asfar. The, ma the water of the man is white and the water of the woman is yellow. If they meet together and the man have orgasm first before the woman, then is going to be a male by the will of Allah. And if the women sperm came first the, the 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 baby will be a female by the will of allah all right now let us see the muslim translation which usually they try to hide but i think here it's coming clear when the, when they have sexual intercourse and the male have orgasm first not substance 
come before the male, the female, then the child will be a boy. It is a male child. Do you see it? A male child. Why it's a male child? Because he have orgasm first. How we can prove here they are lying? We can go and see the other hadith of Muhammad himself is speaking about that. Read carefully with me. Never, never trust a Muslim explaining, translating anything for you. Never. Here we go. Is it clear here that this is about orgasm? This is not about a chromosome? Does it say here, whoever comes first? In the other hadith translation, they fabricate tons of sentences just to cover the shame and the lies of Muhammad. Ummu Salama said that Ummu Salim said that, O oh Allah Apostle, Allah does not refrain from saying the truth. Is it obligatory for a woman to take a bath after she's, she got, uh, uh, you know? He said, yes. If she notice water, i.e. discharge in her vagina, she have to do that. Ummu Salama said, smile. She said, does women get discharge? By the way, I want to ask you here, why the wife of the Prophet, she never had discharge? What? The wife of the Prophet, Ummu Salama, she said to Muhammad, what? Women, they have orgasm? Do you see yes. it? Okay, so why the wife of the prophet? She never have orgasm. She never heard of orgasm. She is she is going crazy here. She heard that the women, she this woman, she have orgasm. So she's saying, does the women have orgasm? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. And then, and the Allah Apostle said, otherwise, why the child resembled the mother? All of this to read this is just four lines. But this is not a hadith, this is just uh, interpretation. Interpretation, okay. It says you can have sex with your daughter if she is daughter from adultery. Why, why you must believe in that? Read the brother, read, read in Arabic, read. Let us hear your, your Arabic reading. I want to, I, I like, I like Moroccan when they read Arabic. Go ahead, praise be to Allah. We have an amazing book teaching us that if I have a daughter, she is not my the daughter of my wife, but she is my daughter, I can have sex with her too. That's amazing, brother. This is his interpretation. It's true, but this is the interpretation. This is your scholar, Al Qurtubi, and uh, this is not me. This is not a Christian scholar. You, why Al Qurtubi saying that, my friend? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Why Al Qurtubi saying that? Okay, so you are saying to me, God. If a man in the heaven of Allah, he wished to have sex with his mother, it's fine. He can have sex with his mother. Why you are saying it's okay? Uh, okay, according to who is, is it wrong? So your the, the heaven of your God is, uh, what is that? I mean, when we say whatever you wish, that's mean, so what the point of saying you cannot do this on earth, but you can do it, you can do it in heaven. Do you know why? Why? Because this, because in the earth, we it's, it's a test, but after, in the heaven there is no sin there is nothing there is no the day of judgment so you will live here for for okay forever. so in so the heaven of allah in the heaven of allah you muslims are a bunch of hippies you are a bunch of hippies you you have your penis in your hand and you go and you put your penis wherever you wish this is what you are saying to me right your mother your sister your daughter your neighbor your brother you f everybody this is what you are saying to me there is no limitation you f whoever in your way my friend, when Allah say you can have whatever you want, mm. my friend, we are talking about the heaven. We are talking about earth. If he is doing that in earth, why he will not do that in heaven? Muhammad already, he liked to kiss men down their belly. That's mean in the heaven, he will like yeah. to do so. Right? Your philosophy in heaven doesn't work, my friend, because the two person, because if you want to do something, what you, what you want, the other person, he will do what he wants. No problem, no problem. But you said to me that a, a man in the heaven, he will get whatever he wish. Obviously, you're a prophet. He wished to kiss men down their belly. So you're a prophet in the heaven. Right away when he go to heaven, he will ask Allah to send him men who have nice belly so he can kiss them all over there. And the guy will say to him, please, please don't stop. Please, they're right there, right there. My friend, mm. the heaven has nothing to do with the earth. The heaven. So you agree the, that your prophet the, kissing men, kissing no, men down no. their belly, down to their balls, and he is a prophet of God, and now he is in heaven. Obviously, Muhammad he liked that. So in the heaven of Allah, he is going for sure agree with the man. He want to have sex with him. 
There's no problem no, with Muhammad no, saying that. Read the hadith for me, please. Okay. Here we go. Okay, what is the problem? Is the problem, problem is the problem is that in the heaven of Allah, it's granted for you. you even even there's a market, there's a market in heaven where you can go to the market in the mall. There's nothing but images of men and women, but the customers are men, as you see in the hadith. So whenever a man he wish a desire of a, of an image, but images are images of men and women. So when a Muslim man have a desire of any image, he enter it to have sex with it. So now if somebody, what, what, the, what the problem is, what you is, go in the heaven in Las Vegas. Okay, you are we are walking in Las Vegas. You saw an image of uh, Michael Jackson. You will have sex with Michael I'm Jackson. Talking about huh? The heaven is not there. Are you seeing this is a sin? So having sex with bad. having sex with Michael Jackson in heaven for you as a man is not a sin, correct? My friend, are you saying this is a sin? For and me, it yes, bad. it's a sin. It's a sin. Yeah, it's a big sin. Okay, why why you will you wish something something bad according to you? Why you don't wish anything good? What is the good in Islam? Here we go. Look at the good. This is the good. Muhammad taking an oath. This is the good of Islam. Muhammad taking an oath that I swear by Allah that any one of you, the lowest, this is the lowest reward for a Muslim. This is the bad reward. That when you go to the heaven, you will have at least 72 wives, and from the 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 the, the two uh, uh, two like 70 of them, they are from the one Allah He will import from the heaven, which means they are prostitute because they have a nice vagina, and they have a beautiful beautiful breast, as you see. You see, it says here, and uh, 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 from His inheritance from the people of hell. So Allah will choose the most expert women in sex, and they are hookers. They are very good in sex, and they are very beautiful. And He will import them from hell, and then He will bring them to you. And they have to have a specific qualification. They have desirable front passages, which means they have nice nipples, they have nice breasts, they have nice vagina. You name it. All right. And then He promised you in the top of that that I swear by Allah that your private part will become like a concrete. Will never go sleep. My friend, the Lord, He Himself, He said, Knock at my door, I will open for you. The problem is that we wait for Him to come to us. We don't want even to come to Him. And He is the King of Kings. Yet He is very humble. All what He wants from you, just knock at my door and I will open for you.